built by a husband and wife using a crowdsourced 3D printing platform. The husband's a carpenter, the wife works at an insurance company. No programming knowledge prior to this. They built this robot. Its job is to do this. <laughs> it drives around their house. It looks for a bottle of wine, picks it up, looks for a human face. You give it a glass, it pours you a wine, and it keeps repeating. <laughs> <laughs> Truly is wonderful. <laughs> Suddenly robots don't seem so bad, do they? We are always concerned about technology. We have been since the automobile. It was really hard to retire the whole horse and wagon when you understood how it worked. To be a user of the first automobile, you had to be practically an engineer. I mean, there's no secret that the first train engineers were actually indeed engineers, because they had to have a lot of training in science to be able to understand how to use them. And with robotics, we feel the same way today. But I had mentioned that we're going to be working together, and that technology needs to be integrated with our lives and accessible to all of us. So I hope by showing you these videos and showcasing what people are really doing out there in the world with robotics and these technologies, that it's not as scary as you might think, that it's gonna open up a ton of opportunities for all of us to be able to have new jobs, new careers, and extend our capabilities as humans.